Today, we celebrate the feast of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, Mark tells us in his gospel, is the woman from whom Jesus cast out seven demons. Mary was an eyewitness to the crucifixion. She's the first person to witness to the resurrection. She's the first person to meet the risen Jesus. For a moment, let's stand with Mary in front of the empty tomb as she cries her heart out. Then the two angels, God's messengers, ask her why she's crying. They've taken away my master and I don't know where they've put him, she says. They've taken away my hopes, my life. Emotions felt by everyone who loses the person they love in death. The world's grief concentrated in Mary's grief. Now, as we stand with Mary and ponder her answer, with her we turn around and see the strange figure who's standing there. Who is he? What's he doing? Who do you think he is? Well, Mary's intuitive guess that he must be the gardener was wrong at one level and deeply right at another. Remember in the book of Genesis, the Lord God walking in the Garden of Eden when the cool evening breezes were blowing. Here is Jesus, the new Adam, the gardener, walking in the garden of the resurrection to uproot the chaos and darkness of our rebellion against God in Eden. Then Jesus calls her by name, Mary, and instantly she knows who he is. He's the same, but he's different. He's alive with a new sort of life, the like of which we'd never seen before. Nothing like fresh, first-hand eyewitness evidence, and it still counts today. It was the same in the time of Jesus. If you wanted people to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead, you needed an eyewitness like Mary Magdalene. But then you wouldn't have dreamed of putting a woman forward as your star witness. In those days, women were not even eligible to testify in a court of law because they were considered totally unreliable as witnesses. No man in the first century would give credence to a woman's testimony. But John, in his gospel, doesn't shrink from telling the world that Mary was the first eyewitness to see the risen Jesus. And then Jesus gives Mary a job to do, a vocation, to go and tell the disciples hiding in fear in the upper room that he's alive, to make her an apostle to the apostles and to witness to them that I've seen the master. Nothing like fresh, first-hand eyewitness evidence. Mary didn't hug Jesus to herself. She set out to tell anyone and everyone that Jesus is alive. May we today have the courage to do the same.